morning, St. Paul's. It's Good Friday, a serious day in the Holy Week, the day that we contemplate and think about the crucifixion of the Savior of the world, Jesus. A lot to think about today. Now, a lot of people wonder why you would call a day filled with so much tragedy and pain and suffering good. Well, there's a lot of reasons for that. Some think that originally it was called Great Friday, and it kind of morphed into Good Friday because um, it's good for us. God did so much for us. Um, he showed his great love for humankind, and with his death, he purchased for us every blessing, every good thing. So this is a day for us to think about what God has done for us, who we are, who we are without him, and who we are in Christ. So take time to meditate. Our scripture today is taken from Isaiah. It's a prophetic scripture, hundreds of years before the crucifixion of Christ. It's Isaiah 53, 5. I think it's worth writing down. We talked early in one of our devotions about taking one of those little post-it notes and writing down scripture and memorizing it, placing it somewhere strategic, like your bathroom mirror or the refrigerator or in your car. This is what it says in the English Standard Version. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace. And with his wounds, we are healed. And when we think about that word healed, it's more than just healing like from sickness. It's healing from a sin sick soul. It's healing from our separation from God. He brought us back to his side. We were lost and he came for us and he purchased that with his death on the cross. So that's worth meditating upon, thinking about today. Um, I wanna have a prayer with you. So please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day called Good Friday. We thank you for the cross. And Lord, we glory in it. We're thankful that you took upon the sin of the world. We're thankful that in that you took upon our sin and you brought us back to your side. Lord, help us to be mindful of that for the rest of our lives and to be thankful for the great sacrifice that you made for our healing. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. St. Paul's, as always, I love you and I miss you. And I think when we're finally back together, we're going to appreciate just the simple act of gathering so much more. And then when we get to rehearse music and things like that, we're really, really going to love it. So contemplate this day what Christ has done for you.